all the roots of cos z equal to 2. This is very very important and expected example. So cos z equal to 2 is given to us and we need to find the roots of this equation, right? Where z is your complex number. I can write this cos z to be as then e the power iota z plus e the power negative iota z divided by 2 equal to 2. Yes? Okay. So this implies e the power iota z plus e the power negative iota z equals to 4. Right? So this further implies e the power iota z plus this can be written as 1 divided by e the power iota z equals to 4. Which further implies e the power 2 iota z plus 1 equals to 4 into e the power iota z. Taking this to the other side, that further implies writing e the power 2 iota z as e the power iota z whole square. Can I write like this? Yes. Minus 4 e the power iota z plus 1 equals to 0. So just take e the power iota z to be equal to y. So that becomes y square minus 4y plus 1 equals to 0. Getting the roots of this quadratic equation. So y equal to 4 plus minus square root of, yes, 16 minus 4 times 1 into 1 divided by 2 into 1. So this is 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 4 that is 12 divided by 2. That is 4 plus minus square root of 12 can be written as 2 root 3 divided by 2. So this further equal to 2 plus minus square root of 3. And what we have taken y to be as? It is e to the power iota z. So e to the power iota z is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 3. Right? This can be further written as, continuing to the next page, it is iota z equal to log of 2 plus minus square root of 3. Please note that log of z is equal to log of mod z plus iota argument of z. This is a general argument. Applying this over here, so we get log of mod of 2 plus minus square root of 3 plus iota argument of 2 plus minus square root of 3. Now this is your positive number. Yes? So log of mod of positive number is just log of that positive number plus iota. Okay. Argument of this. The general argument of a complex number is equal to 2n pi plus the principal argument of a complex number where n is belonging to the set of integers, right? So using this, it is 2n pi plus the principal argument of 2 plus minus square root 3, where n belonging to the set of integers, right? Okay, so this is log of 2 plus minus square root 3 plus iota 2n pi plus because this is your positive real number. Please remember the principal argument of a positive real number is always zero. And the principal argument of a negative real number is pi. Please remember this result. So this is log of 2 plus minus square root 3 plus iota 2 n pi. Now on the left hand side we are having iota into z, right? So dividing the equation by iota, so we get z to be equal to log of 2 plus minus square root 3 divided by iota plus 2n pi. We are n belonging to the set of integers. So this is equal to, just multiply and divide by iota again. So we get negative iota log of 2 plus minus square root 3 plus 2n pi. Or it can also be written as 2n pi minus iota log of 2 plus minus square root 3 where n belonging to the set of integers. So this is your required number of roots for the given equation. 
all right thank you and stay blessed